Summer is still missing, and we are more concerned than ever and desperate to find her. TBI agents continue to work with the Hawkins County Sheriff's Office and the FBI in an effort to determine what happened to Summer. We are utilizing all available resources to include the FBI's Child Abduction Rapid Deployment Team. We want to reiterate that the circumstances leading to Summer's disappearance remain unclear, which is why we've been exploring all possibilities. Agents and detectives have followed up on a number of leads to include residential surveillance video and photos from around the area of Summer's home. Drivers seen in the area at the time of her disappearance have been identified and interviewed. While we've not ruled out an abduction, we simply do not have any evidence at this point to confirm that's what occurred. For that reason, for that reason the ground search for Summer continues. It's possible that she wandered off and is lost and afraid. Sheriff Ronnie Lawson is going to talk more about what we need from property owners at this point. Sheriff? Thank you. First of all, I want to let everyone know that what a big asset that Mount Carmel Baptist Church has been to us. They've opened their doors, their church, their fellowship hall, their land. And as y'all see, this is a very remote area and we would be in desperate trouble if we didn't have that place to set up our command post. With that said, we're using every available resource that we have. And today I want to use you all I want the word to get out to all the residents in the Upper Beach Creek community, Hawkins County and Sullivan County. We need the residents to go back today, tonight, tomorrow, as soon as possible and go back and check their entire property, any outbuildings, any barns, any place a child could hide. We desperately need you to do that for us. It's easier for you to check your own property than it is to send officers there. We have not stopped, as the captain will tell you, we've been 24-7 for six days now. So we desperately need help from the community now searching their own property. Any questions? Okay, Captain. Thank you, Sheriff. As both of them have stated, we will continue to search for summer wells until we locate Summer Wells. As of June 21st, 2021, search and rescue efforts for missing five-year-old Summer Wells will continue throughout the day and also the night. At this point, we have utilized 72 agencies from Tennessee, Ohio, Virginia, Alabama, Georgia, and North Carolina assisting in these search efforts. Numerous specialized search and rescue groups and canine teams have been represented from these multiple different agencies. To date, we have estimated approximately 2,400 acres have been searched since Tuesday night when she was reported missing. The rugged mountainous terrain continues to call problem, cause problems and slow the, research, the search operations at times. The search will continue Tuesday morning into Wednesday morning. An updated release will be issued as new information becomes available. And as stated before, if anyone has any information on the disappearance of Summer Wells, please contact Hawkins County Sheriff's Department and our 1-800-TBA fine. Thank you. We'll open it up for a few questions at this time. Just wondering, has Summer ever wandered off before? According to family members, it's not common for her to wander off. Which Saturday there was a pretty extensive search into the evening. Can you elaborate on what that tip was and why there was such a large uh, presence for crews to come back out? Anytime we have information that could potentially lead us to locating somewhere, we're going to use all resources. Crews were in the area following up on a lead. Unfortunately, some are still missing. How is the changing weather impacting your search? And sure, that's a great question. Captain Coop, can you explain? So the, the projected forecast here for the next 24 to 48 hours uh, will change our approach. It will not change our, our aggressive approach. The only thing that this will change, it will change maybe what terrain we approach at this time. Due to the severe thunderstorms, we can't put our teams 
in danger to turn around and maximize the situation. Um, we are monitoring weather 24 hours a day, seven days a week with live uh, weather updates. We are also utilizing the National Weather Service who, we, who calls us on a routine basis. If there's any type of weather that's approaching our immediate area, they have been more than helpful with notifying us in a very timely manner to allow us to know to where we can plan on how we're going to approach these areas. Talking about the weather, is there uh, concern about some of these crews from other areas having to go back to their uh, area to respond to storms there? Um, speaking with some of these teams, especially the teams that have been coming out of state, traveling four plus hours, uh, they also have have had to do what we've had to do is, is is utilize as much resources as we can to find summer wells, but we still have to be able to cover our areas. So so a lot of these people they're 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 still allowing people to stay back. Um, when these crews from out of town then return, they'll swap out those crews will then monitor their areas and friend, send us fresh crews, and we are doing the same thing for our resources here here locally. Do you know when the active search will potentially turn into a um, recovery mode instead of a potential rescue mode. Well, let's sure. elaborate on that. We will address that at some point, but right now our focus remains on finding summer. We're using all resources as of today, and we want that to be the focus right now. This is a question more for Jamie Leslie and Sheriff Lawson. You just mentioned that you have used some surveillance video, things that you had asked for earlier. Can you elaborate what you saw in that surveillance video and how that might have helped you? Well, as you know, and you guys helped us get the word out, we asked residents to let us know if they had surveillance cameras around their home or trail cameras. Residents have reached out. We've reviewed um, those photos and video, and if we identified a vehicle in the video, we would identify the driver and then speak with the driver to interview them to see if they had any information. How long, um, when someone typically goes missing, how long does it take to find? Like, is this exceptionally long? Every case is different. It, it's just, it's a case by case situation. One day six now for maybe the folks that are out there in the field, how are you keeping, I guess, morale and spirits? I, how, how are, you know, I'm sure folks are tired, they've been out here tirelessly for, for days on end now. Uh, how are you kind of keeping folks engaged and, and spirits up? Ultimately, the people that's involved with the search operations this, we all have the same, the same outlook. We will not quit until we find summer wheels. So these guys have spent countless hours, uh, day in, day out, night time. The thing that I stress with my guys is, is if you're getting to the point that you're getting tired, please take a break, get rest, rehab, recover. That way you can come back and continue to go stronger. It's, it is a large family with law enforcement involved. It, we, we keep each other's spirits up. It's, it, it's all a team effort and to elaborate on it, a lot of times, you guys being up here, you start seeing a lot of people leave at the evening time. At the evening time, it is too treacherous and too dangerous unless TBI or Sheriff's Department gets a lead that, that they need us to go help assist on. Too dangerous for us to keep our guys up in these mountains and this treacherous terrain at night time. But I want you guys to know and rest assured along with the community that search efforts do not stop when it gets dark. We have been utilizing fixed wing and aerial aviation to literally scan this area from the time it gets dark to the time that we return in the morning. It does not quit. They utilize multiple resources, FLIR, and other things to continually map this area and to continue the search for summer wheels. This is a question more for Sheriff Hawkins, or Lawson, I'm sorry. Um, I know we've talked a lot about there's two different operations going on, fine summer as well as the investigation. Is there more on the investigation side that you can tell us into anything that you talk with family members or anyone who last saw her since we last spoke on Friday? We've interviewed so many people in, in the community on the road and uh, we're still jointly working with the TBI and, and the FBI and everything is really going real well. We cover each other's tracks, go back and re-interview and uh, like Captain said and Leslie, we're not going to stop until we find something. How is her family doing? I mean, this is going in Day seven. We've spoken with her parents. Um, I can't speak for them. They spoke with you. They're being cooperative. Of course, they're upset. So 
we continue to keep them updated and do whatever possible we can to find summer. And we just ask everyone in the community, especially those of you have any tidbit of information that you haven't shared to please come forward. Her family asks, asks that as well. And last week you also talked a little bit about speculation and social media rumors. Has that continued to get worse over the weekend? And is that continue to maybe even cause hindrances? Sure, it's always a battle. Um, you know, we ask residents with, with credible information to call 1-800-TBI-FIND and submit tips through that avenue. We find that we're receiving a lot of tips that is a screenshot from Facebook. It, it's an opinion or speculation. That's not a credible tip and it just bogs down the system as I've mentioned before. So please only share credible information. Um, someone's opinion or idea on Facebook is not a credible tip. Did you have a question? I was going to ask. Okay. Has, has the family been ruled out? I know they said that they understood you, you investigating them and interviewing them. Have they been ruled out at this time or still working? As we've said time and time again, the circumstances leading to, to Summer's disappearance are very much under investigation. And at this time, we continue to explore all possibilities. Okay. Thanks for coming, guys. Um, we appreciate the continuing coverage. We appreciate the community and all their support. And again, I can't stress enough, anyone with information is asked to call 1-800-TBI-FIND. Thank you.